Hey guys, Gunchimp here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, today's showtime. Um, we're going to try and take down uh, Walt Waltheim Towers. Um, the first time we attempted this, it took uh, two wolves and a hell of a lot of our arrows to actually take down just one bandit. And this is a bandit's camp after all. But now we've been working on smithing, we've been working on archery. Um, we joined the Dark Brotherhood, so we've now been got given some um, a Shrouded Cowl Mask List, which um, increases our bow damage by 20%. We also picked up some um, Iron Gauntlets of Minor Archery, which again increases our bow damage by 15%, and that's stackable. Um, so this means that our bow is now doing 53 damage, which should be quite, you know, it should be enough um, to bring down any character. Uh, when I was playing on Master before, um, you know, 53 damage was, was pretty decent actually. Uh, we've also got a Nordic Sword now, which is doing 21 damage. But um, I really want to um, want to see how we can how we do against these bandits, just because I'm really wanting to try uh, Bleak Falls Barrow so that we can actually um, advance a little bit and maybe buy our own home that we can then use to store our stuff in. But the problem is, as you can imagine, if we're having a trouble with uh, schema with skeevers and uh, mud crabs, then uh, what the heck is a dragon going to do to us? You know. So uh, I'm just going to quickly run over here and unlock this location. I think it's a stormcloak camp. Yep, brilliant. And while we're at it, we might as well do a bit of room raiding. Whoops. In it gold sweet anything else gold's always good All right so let's press on um and bizarrely those horses uh, you can actually ride them that's not stealing um but as you saw we're on our way to when we when we um went to track down the dark brotherhood Mounted combat isn't really all it's cracked up to be. It was kind of a bit difficult to control and turn the horse. And it wasn't actually that interesting either. So, you know, I prefer to do it on foot. Um, oh, what's this? Corundamore. Excellent. Uh, Corundamore, when you mix it with iron ore, you can make steel. Uh, why would I want that? Well, steel is actually a really important ingredient in the Nordic armor set uh, that I want to make for my character. Uh, we already have the, the bow and the shield and the sword and I'm quite interested in making the heavy armor as well because uh, from my experiences so far um, we haven't got any choice really, we're going to have to go the heavy armor route just to get the maximum protection possible because um, if a bandit or gets close to you, they, you know, they can take you out with one hit from a freaking sword so you know um, Obviously, the better, more protection that we have, the the longer we can survive, and maybe at least survive long enough to get away from them. Um, so far, so good. I'm gonna go into sneak mode as well. The fox. Uh oh, and he's got wolf company. <laughs> My useless aiming as usual. I've already given the fox, the full fox rock joint. I'm just wasting arrows here, so um, let's go over to our sword and shield combination. And get up close and personal with these wolves. And check it out, these wolves. I'm just taking a beating, and they're really, really killing me. I mean, check out the the health. Legendary is a real bitch. It's the only way to describe it. But actually, while we're here, we might as well um, might as well just unlock this um, this giant's camp. Because uh, you know, on Xbox at least, there's a there's an achievement. To unlock a hundred locations. I'm not going to tangle with the giants just yet, um, mainly because we don't have a soul trapping weapon. Poor fox. 
Um, but I will be coming back there. Um, I will be harvesting the souls. Because um, we're going to need them to make our own set of um, fortified archery gear. Fortified smithing and fortified alchemy. Which is going to help us out a lot. Oh, Robin Hood moment. Finally one shot at something. Maybe it was just an elk. So here we go. And let's just do a quick save. Just in case I really do screw it up. Alright guys, there's no turning back now. Uh, let's see if we can clear these these towers from bandits. Not got my hopes up too much, but um, hopefully we can because otherwise, you know, we're never going to get into Bleak Falls Barrow. Because um, as you know, uh, if you've already played Skyrim, Bleak Falls Barrow that it has a, a super boss drawer, who's quite hard to take down. Um, and then once we do that. We get the dragon stone, which we that then triggers our first dragon attack. But the problem with that is, from then on in, um, we're open to random dragon attacks. And you know, if I can't even take down a bandit, well, how's it going to be like if I'm trying to take down a dragon? So, uh oh crap! Oh, how the hell? Come on, die! Do the decent thing and die. And this Finally. That took a lot of arrows. Oh no. Now we've got a lot of people firing at us as well. Too far away. The problem I'm having at the moment is the stamina, it's just getting sapped straight away. <laughs> Missed again. Come on, Robin Hood moment. It's kind of frustrating, really. Well, sneak's increasing at least. All right, so without me doing anything, which is nice. Oh, Robin Hood moment, please, please, please. Sweet. Oh no, where's the body going? <laughs> well, that's kind of satisfying. Apart from the fact that uh, I won't be able to loot the body. Oops. Where's that going? Uh oh, here he comes. This takes so long to fire. Oh, damn it. Frustrating as this. <laughs> they still, god damn you. Do this thing and chase me down. Okay, well then look, this guy's coming for me now. Now, at least the rain stops, so I can see a little better. Now that treasure chest there has a tripwire on it, 
lowers that mace. But it's quite easy to deal with. Um, what happens is you have to um, unlock it like a like you would a normal chest. So far, is that a guy? <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Whoops. <sighs> totally missed. Typical. Man. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Is someone there? Try another fortified marks on potions, see if we can get this guy. Three 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 times attack damage on him and check it out. It's still alive. As if nothing. Come on, die. Oh, Robin Hood moment. Or not. Yep, there goes another one into the water. So that's going to be interesting trying to uh, loot the body. There's one. Hopefully there's one to wash up on shore as well. So good, let's check it. What are we doing? Clear? Shame I can't actually see anyone to shoot at from here. But what we might as well do is raid the place. For what it's worth. Do a quick save just in case. Alright, so we're saved just in case we screw up and let's just raid the place. Kettle, but what the hell? So we've got more wine, garlic's good. That's very good actually. Okay, so far so good. Looks like there's two of them. There's the boss guy and a normal bandit. So let's see who comes down the stairs first. Do. It's kind of annoying because I don't know who's going to go first. Hopefully it's going to be the normal bandit. If it is a normal bandit, no, my luck, it's probably going to be some sort of plunderer or something. Quite a lot of ore actually around here as well, so that could be quite useful if we survive. Um, oh. <sighs> Higher up, we can. 
At least I know that he can't make it up here. All good, because I can't see anything. Headband it at least. Please get a crystal attack. No, just got a three times attack. So we did some damage to him. She's been improved, so that's always a good thing. Stamina's been sapped as usual. It's taking forever. And this is the, the bow that's doing pretty decent bow damage, actually. Let's look down a 45 maximum potion, and hopefully. Is it going down? now. Still one of them left though. It's just my luck that I can't see him anywhere. <sighs> Further up this mountain. That's what I should do before I do anything else is save it just in case I screw up and fall to my death. Okay, and let's see where the last bandit is. And this is just my luck. Get further up this mountain. Oh, this is just typical. Got a bird's eye view, I think. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Without dying. Okay, so uh, same trick as usual. We'll get the Fortify Maxman going. Potion of Slow, and hopefully I won't miss. <laughs> Boom! Excellent. So I'll just check the map to see if it is actually cleared. Nope. Damn. There's another one knocking around. Well, I'm going to raid the place. Cross Miriam, thank you. That. LZ, which is not. Take all these books. Hopefully one of them will be a skill book, that would be nice. Doesn't look like it though. Yeah, why not? Oh, chest. What are we getting? Give me stuff. 52 gold, that's good. Ironically, now we have <laughs> stamina potions. Anything else? Bandit Chief, what's he got in him? Steel armor, interesting, because uh, it might be that we have to make the 
make the trade now and just go with uh, heavy armor because we're getting our ass kicked by pretty much everything book black arrow Etch excellent archery increased to 54 nice one as you know we're trying to get it up to 60 so that we can um, add another bonus another damage bonus to our to our attacks why not Elven bow, sweet. Anything else? No. Nope. Okay, let's go upstairs. Over here, imperial bow of fear. So mainly the, these kind of things, uh, these enchanted items, I'm just going to disenchant them more more than anything else. Not really too bothered about keeping on to them to actually use them. Uh, what's this? Iron ore. Let's mine it. Catch you in a second. Okay, so that's that one mined. I think there was another. Has this bandit been searched? No. Oh, we're in close to the weight limit though. There's another ore over here. What's this one? Corundum. We need this to make steel, which is a key ingredient with our Nordic armor, as you know that excellent okay um so yeah back across the bridge and um that. okay back across the bridge a couple of um, bandits we took out who fell to their death, so you know, we're probably gonna have to go swimming. Nothing up there. Whoops, that's all clear. There's a booby trap chest just down here, though. It's so like I say, all you have to do is um, instead of going for the chest itself, you have to click on the the trick the trap trigger and again it's like a normal lock so you just unlock it Ooh, come on thank you there you go and then that's basically deactivated the trap so we can actually look inside the chest sweet okay and I think there was a body down here somewhere. I think I saw it on the bridge. Around here. There he is. Gold. Okay, now we're looking for the most. That's expensive, so we'll have that. It's also expensive. And keep the rest of your crap. And there was one who fell into the water actually as well, but I don't think we're gonna. We're going to be able to find his body. There's no way. And the water's probably quite quite strong current, so probably washed him far, far away. But it was kind of dramatic. He kind of cliff dived. So uh oh, now the current's got us as well. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, not a problem, not really bothered. Um, yeah, we managed to play Veldheim Towers, but it did cost us quite a lot of effort, actually. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to fast travel over to um, Whiterun. Actually, let's see where we need to hand in this mission. I don't even know where I got it from. Preventus event, yeah, we'll go over to White Run. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Alright, guys, uh, thanks for watching. As you can see, um, we're at level 18 now. We're on legendary difficulty, and even bandits are proving difficult. Um, so, yeah, we're going to turn in the this bounty and maybe attempt 
bleak rum barrows and see how it goes all right guys uh thanks for watching take care and as always peace